Feeding the Beast family, welcome to a new full day of eating IFYM. If it fits your macros, if it fits your life, style of eating with me featuring John from Obese to Beast. <laughs> so I just <laughs> I just got done at the store and I want to show you guys, uh, it, I feel like I have a good point here that you can eat healthy and still maintain like a solid budget if, if you're if you're low on the on the cash flow like I am so I just want to show you guys a few things that I picked up and then so everything that you're gonna see was about 22 bucks so I got six of these guys so these are basically just I got a bunch of different styles um, but it's just basically it's like vegetables that are frozen that you just throw in the microwave and you uh, you just heat up I got ones that were uh, I got just all green beans as well, so I got like two of each of these, right? So it ends up being six. And then I also got, um, you can come in, man. be scared. Uh, I got the sugar free jello. If you don't know about sugar free jello, sugar free jello, it's like 10 calories, so it's basically like 40 calories for this whole thing, and it makes a huge amount. I'm probably gonna make some later. So I got lime, and then I got raspberry as well. This is just in the back doing dishes. Not really, I did the dishes this morning. I'm actually getting Reese's Puffs. She's getting Reese's Puffs. Alright, and then I got a bunch of, I got three different styles of these, these guys. So it's just basically, these are the, these were like really cheap. The, the Fresh Express, the double carrots, because this is like the cheaper, if that makes any sense, like the cheaper, um, like vegetables, lettuce stuff. So, because it's just like lettuce and, um, carrots and red cabbage so I got like three of these or uh, two of those and then I got one of just spinach because I, I like to eat just straight up spinach I don't know maybe I'm weird but also these guys if you've never had the sweet mini peppers these like they're just, they're not hot at all they're just straight up sweet and they're really good you can eat them I eat them raw a lot or I'll stuff them with like tuna uh, I have a, a video where I do that in, on the channel or you can like so you can stuff them with anything right you just cut the tops off and stuff them and you can make a pretty high protein low carb um, low fat if you end up not using stuff that has fat in it so that and then I also got some just some bananas for my protein I'm gonna cut these all in half and then throw them in the freezer uh, just so they stay fresh so with all of that said I understand that there's no like really sources of protein I already have that in the fridge I already have my chicken all cooked up and everything but I just wanted to show you guys that you can eat healthy as long as you shop the sales as long as you shop the things that that you need to you can you can eat relatively healthy or clean and not break the bank because I know uh, people like me it's it's hard to 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 want to spend a bunch of money on on uh, food so yeah I just want to show you guys that and then we're gonna get into the first meal thank you guys so much for checking out the video I'll see you guys in a little bit I know you guys are wondering now like I wonder what he's gonna be eating for breakfast um, it's always something different all right so the easiest way to weigh out your peanut butter is you put the peanut butter on the scale and then you put it at zero and then you just take the peanut butter out and then when it hits minus 32 grams or however much you're trying to get, I'm trying to get 32 grams, that's when you know you have enough. So you don't have to worry about like how much is on the spoon, it doesn't matter. So that's the easiest way to weigh your peanut butter to put in your amazing oatmeal. All right, to show you guys the finished product what we're working with for breakfast is we have 80 grams of oats in here, one serving of peanut butter, and then we have a few drops of these Flav Drops, the Mocha. I'm telling you guys, check these out. They're so good. All right, so we have that in there, and then we just have some coffee with literally like maybe that much cashew milk. I'm gonna track it as just one fourth cup. Might as well just overestimate. And then I also put some of the Mocha in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then after this, this is gonna be my first meal and then my only meal before the gym. So I'll check in with you guys after the gym. I was literally in the middle of playing campaign and it was like, yo, you need to do an update on your Call of Duty. So it just straight up stopped my campaign and it was like, all right, we're gonna update right now. <laughs> Shady. So that being said, I'm actually, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know that, know this, but I posted it on my Instagram a couple times that I'm actually live streaming on, on Twitch now. So I have a link down in, in below. I'll, I'll post it on the uh, on the video as well. Uh, it's really cool because you can, you can, it's, if you've been to one of my live shows, it's basically like that. It's a live show, but you can you can watch me play Call of Duty, and I sit there and just answer all your questions. Do you hear my niece yelling? <laughs> so you guys should, I mean, you should check it out. I have a lot of fun. It lets me play video games, but it also lets me talk to you guys. So if you want to check that out, I would recommend it. And uh, also today, I'm going to be hitting chest, not chest, uh, just like an arm and shoulder workout, just basically because I'm going to be squatting really, he not really heavy tomorrow, but tomorrow's my heavier squat day. So... I'm just kind of giving my central nervous system a rest. Just gonna hit like, just gonna bro out a little bit. I think Victor's gonna be coming by. I think I'll see Brian there as well. So that's what's going on now. I'm really bummed because I was just gonna play that until I had to 
believe. Uh, looks like you can't do that now, but you know, whatever, it's all good. <laughs> all right, say hi, Victor. What's up, guys? Oh, it's all dark. All right, so basically what we're doing right now, we're just doing like an arm, like an arm and shoulder workout. Like I said, we're not doing anything too crazy. So uh, this is something that I like to do for biceps a lot. So go ahead and start, man. Uh, I like to do superset these hammer curls. So I'll do about 10 of these. And then, so after he does about 10 of these, I like, bro, you can see that definition, though. Look at that. So you do about 10 of these. And then once you're done with those, you're going to stand straight up. And then you're going to do supinated curls. So basically just regular curls. You're going to go as, as many as you possibly can. I'm feeling fire in the pit of my belly My tongue is swelling Plank stares in the face of the wall My mind is so jelly My heaven is helly Could it be the place of my belly? The devil is ready But I haven't finished my spaghetti Calling or climbing Is the silly things I'm deciding At least see you but you haven't seen Behind my eyelids It's like a scene From an obscene dream You're denying to even believe Because it was too extreme to define it And that's what I'm living Share that with the children Infect with the get Inject the penicillin Mix that with a pack of some cats And attack dogs Mix that with a pack it's a black and watch the fall if I die I wonder if I fly or will I fall down I want them to suicide Commits when I cock it and pull it Brains turn to soupish despite the bullet And when I die I wonder if I fly or will I fall down I want them to suicide Commits when I cock it and pull it If I don't do it I might fucking lose it Lose it I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so we're outside of my house in my car, and it's like 3:40 now, so I haven't eaten in a long time. But I just so I was driving home, and sorry about the AC. It's kind of hot outside today, so I didn't want to turn it off. I don't want to be all sweaty when I'm talking to you guys because I just want to look so good. <laughs> but I, I wanted to talk about how lucky I am, and how lucky I know that I am that you guys, you guys literally like demand that I film these videos and that means a lot to me that you guys care enough to be like yo where is the feeding the beast video at and I just want to say that there's not many people that are in my situation and there's a lot of people that would like to be and uh, I, I just want you guys to understand that I do not take that for granted and I really do appreciate all your support the reason that I don't put out these feeding the beast episodes every single week or or a lot during the week is because I always want to be able to help someone I always want to put something in the video that's that's helpful to people so I don't want to just throw out the same video every single week and I know that a lot of you guys are like we don't mind but I don't know to me it's like I have this platform and I feel like I should really respect the platform that I've been that I've been put on and and really try and, and bring you guys stuff that that matters so I just wanted to say I was driving home and I was like gosh I'm just the luckiest guy in the entire world where I live the people that follow me people that support me you guys the, the how much support you guys will show me this isn't a video about my gratitude to, towards you but I just wanted to say that I do understand and I do appreciate everything that you guys do for me and uh, just thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much all right, so it's 4.30 and I'm about to eat. So I just heated up eight ounces of chicken right here, heated this guy up right here. So I wanna show you guys how to make the best, like it's like a peanut, it's like a peanut sauce, like a Thai peanut sauce. So what you're gonna do, one serving of any sort of peanut butter you wanna use, I like using the uh, the crunchy peanut butter, it tastes a little bit better. So we're gonna do one serving in there and then we're gonna put some hot water in there as well. And then if you want, you can add, add some stuff to it. So you can add like some Splenda or whatever sweetener you want and then some cinnamon, and it's it's super good. All right, so that's about the consistency you want. It's gonna be a little runny, but that's okay, because it's supposed to be a sauce. It's not peanut butter, you know? So, and then we're gonna add a little bit of Splenda and a little bit of cinnamon, and I'll show you what it looks like all mixed up. All right, so there it is all mixed up, and then you just pour it on your chicken and vegetable. So good. I'm really excited about this. Bam, there it is all finished up. And I'll be the first one to tell you, it is really hard to pour things and cook and stuff with one hand trying to record. <laughs> so this is eight ounces of chicken. We have one whole thing of those uh, steamable vegetables and then one serving of peanut butter. I'm very excited to eat this. Also, before I forget to mention this, this whole recipe idea was uh, inspired by Nicholas Berger, Nick Fit. I'm gonna link his channel down below. 
He's an 18 year old kid, or he might be 19 now, but he's competing in his first show, coming up real soon. Awesome guy, he has an awesome channel, and I remember he, we're, we're friends on Snapchat, right? And uh, he posted something about like, he was all with my homemade peanut sauce, and I was like, what do you mean homemade peanut sauce, bro? Text me the ingredients and stuff. My hair is getting all crazy. And um, so he told me how to make it, and I made it one day, and I was like, bro, this is amazing. So if you like peanut butter, and you like chicken, and you tried to maybe incorporate them into a dish and didn't work out, I would recommend trying this out. Seriously, it's really, really good. It's very simple, super good. Make sure chicken and vegetables, different, new, and uh, it's not as boring. So go ahead and try it out, and tell me what you, what you guys think. All right, you guys, it's almost 6 o'clock. I'm about to start my live broadcast. So you can see I got my uh, laptop set up, got my Kinect and everything, got my controller, my cool headphones and stuff. But before I do that, I'm going to mix up uh, some G Fuel because I'm going to have this during the, the uh, live stream. And I figured I'd show you because I'm not going to be able to show you during because I'll be on the live stream. So I think I'm going to do Phaseberry today. This stuff's really good. My, my top three are probably Phaseberry. Uh, blood orange is really good and then also peach mango is really good they're all good though but uh, I think I'm gonna do some face berry today and then I'm gonna be live streaming for the next probably like three hours uh, just hanging out with you guys like I said before I'm not trying to like sell you guys on the live stream or anything but if you do want to ask me questions um, I, I do this almost every night uh, just stream the video game and talk to you guys so I know I don't do the live shows that much in the Q&A's it's hard to answer everyone's questions but when I'm doing the live streams it's really easy just to talk to you guys so I don't know it's just fun and you guys get to watch me be really terrible at Call of Duty so I mean it's like a win-win for everyone so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up um, it's like a for you guys that aren't familiar it's like a powder uh, it's like a pre-workout almost, you know what I mean? But it's just an energy drink. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up, and then I'll be sipping on that throughout the um, throughout the live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm really excited to talk to you guys, everyone that's in the live stream. Hi, that was there, and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and check in with you guys after the stream's over. So I started the live stream at six o'clock, and now it's 9:22. <laughs> so I was just sitting there playing and talking and uh, it's just so much fun talking to you guys and like I just feel like I'm talking to my friends so if you guys want to check it out it'll be in the description it's really fun and it's just a way for me to connect with you guys more so my hair looks terrible terrible all right I'm gonna go eat some food I have no clue what I'm gonna eat I'm starving I haven't eaten in like what six hours I need to eat some food all right, so 9.30, we're having our next meal. So oh, this is pretty basic. So it's just a bunch of salad, one of those packs of salad with eight ounces of chicken on top. And then for the uh, for the dressing, I'm gonna do something kind of interesting. So I like to do one serving of this raspberry vinaigrette dressing and then mix it with this yellow mustard. I know it sounds weird, but let me just show you what it looks like. It's really good. Let me just show you. And there we have it all mixed up. Like I said, I know it, it might look a little weird, but I'm telling you, on the salad, it's so good. And it gives you a little bit more more dressing, uh, you know, because the mustard's zero calorie. Uh, so you don't have to really track it very much. And uh, so you get a little bit more dressing on your salad. And it's just really, really good. Check that out. Doesn't that look delicious? Does, don't you just want to eat that right now? I know I do. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, eat this up, and then it's on to my next meal. You guys know what time it is. It's time for some protein. All right, so if you don't know how to make protein, I'm gonna go over it real quick. I have a video on the channel, but basically you got one half of a banana or 55 grams. You got a few ice cubes in there. You're gonna do 150 grams of any berry that you want. I just do mixed berries. You're gonna do one cup of almond or cashew milk and two scoops of protein, and then you have to add the cereal on top. Today I'm gonna be going with some Captain Crunch's Peanut Butter Crunch because it's absolutely the best cereal in the entire, entire world. But this goes on afterwards. So this stuff is all gonna go in this blender and I'm gonna blend it up and it's gonna be delicious. And if you make it right, that's what it should look like when you take out the little, well if you have a ninja, that little thing that's in it. I'm gonna have to scrape all this out, but I just wanna show you guys, look how thick that is and look how much there is. It's gonna be so good. And bam, there's a finished product. We did two servings of the Captain Crunch because I have a lot of macros left for the day. And uh, I wish this like chocolate stuff wasn't here because it makes it look gross, but I, I promise you, this is the best thing you'll ever have. I I beg you to make this and tell me you don't like it. I promise you that you will. And this, what's cool about it 
is you can like do whatever protein that you want and make it taste however you want. You know what I mean? So it's all up to you and then whatever cereal you want to use. If you don't want to use cereal, you don't have that many macros to play with, then don't use the cereal, but I I mean it, it makes it it's the best part because you mix it all together and then you can just eat it. I know I talk about this every time I do a feeding of the beast, but I'm just I really like it. <laughs> so try it out and I tell you I'm I'm telling you, you're gonna like it. Alright you guys, so it's currently almost 11 o'clock and we are going to be ending the video, ending the macros, ending whatever you want to call it. So we just have nothing special at all. Just three servings of with some rice checks and then um, I also put some cinnamon there, cinnamon in it, uh, just to make it taste a little bit like something. And uh, I've been liking to, to do like just cereal, a little bit of cereal at the end of the night. Um, I don't know, it's kind of nice to snack on when I'm watching TV or whatever. So uh, the macros that I hit for today were 53 fat, um, 251 carb, I've been trying to go a little bit lower carb, uh, it's not low carb, but lower than I was because I was hitting about 330 grams, so I'm down about 80 grams on there and then 194 protein, so exactly where I want to be, really happy with how today went, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this whole video and making it to this point and watching my hair transform throughout this whole video. It's been it's been a great day. I had an awesome day. Uh, I just I, I wish every day could be like this. But I mean they they pretty much are though. So we have a good life, you guys. We have a good life. So thank you so much for watching the whole video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. What was, oh yeah. Look how buff I am! Ugh.